In this lesson, we are going to modify drawing objects using grips. Grips appear when we select an object without a command active. As you can see, I get different grips in different locations depending on the types of objects I select. Let's look more closely at the line. If I select a line, I can choose its midpoint grip to move it. So this is a quick way I can enter the move command without ever actually starting a command. If I click one of the endpoint grips, I can stretch it. I can stretch to another corner, or I can stretch a specific distance if I wish. Taking a look at a polyline, or in this case a rectangle, if I select it, I get some additional grips which are called multi-function grips. The corner grips simply stretch out the object, but the multi-function grips allow me to stretch out the entire side of the rectangle. So in this case, I'll bring it back in half an inch to make it smaller. In the case of a circle, if I select the circle, I see these five grips. The middle grip will allow me to move the circle. So I'll simply move it to this other one. The outer grips will allow me to change the radius or the diameter. So in this case, I'll stretch it out two here. Grips also give us access to additional modify commands such as move, copy, scale, rotate, and mirror. If I select an object, then select a grip, I can right click my mouse and in the middle of my context menu I will get some options here to modify the object. So in this case I'll choose move and as you can see I'm now moving the rectangle. I'll select it again, right click once more and choose rotate. Now I'm in the rotate command. Select it once more and this time I will right click and choose scale and I can scale it up and down. I'll go 0.5 to make it half the size. Select it one more time and right click and I can choose the mirror command in which case I will specify a mirror line. Now notice when I mirror this it's going to erase the original. If I do not want to erase the original then after selecting the mirror command I will right click again and choose the copy option. And now it will create a mirrored copy. You can also access these additional commands by selecting a grip and then pressing enter at the keyboard. As we look at the command line, it will cycle through the different options, stretch, move, rotate, scale, and mirror. The copy option can be selected from the command line as well. That concludes this lesson on grip editing drawing objects.